Hello, Monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and Part 18 of my Lock Here Fellhut campaign. Last time we started doing some damage. Look at this. We take, we, well, we, we sacked Angriel. We've captured Falls Anvil and Tor Sethai. And we're heading up towards White Peak. It looks like Tor and Rock is already under siege. I'm going to assume by Marathi. We do have to be somewhat careful because Master Mundi's over here and he might not like us very much. In fact, I don't think he does, does he? Uh, I mean, it's not the worst. It is getting worse, though. Quite a bit worse. He doesn't like the fact we're, we're friends with, with Malekith and Marathi. And, of course, we want to head up to Kor... Karonkar? Is it Karonkar? Karonkar. Um, I don't know who currently controls it. Where's... You think you can lead the Truki? Well, I mean, you know, I'll give it a shot. I think Tretch probably has that territory. Is... Yes, he's in a military alliance with Tretch. Okay, fine. Fine. So that could be tricky, because, I mean, we could potentially try and confederate with Malekith at some point. Speak. Yes. What do you bring before the hag sorceress? I could go with a military alliance. I could maybe try and boost those relations up to maximum levels and then see if we can confederate with Marathi. That would potentially put us a war with Mazda Mundi. But... Whatever. Who cares, right? Can I have some money? Thanks, Marathi. You're a you're a peach. That much? Such delight. Thank God. Uh, well, glad you enjoyed it. I hope uh, hope I enjoyed it as much too. Okay, so let's have a look what she's got. She's got the moon shard over there. She's got silver tor. She's got iron spike. The interesting of Quintex. She's also got Arnheim. And yes, it is indeed. Mar well, not Marathi, but um. Wow, she's got a lot. Of, is Dark Riders really the best thing to lay siege to Tauron Rock with, Marathi? I'm just thinking maybe more infantry. You've got currently, let's let's be let's be kind and say four units, but realistically three at best, and more realistically two because you don't really want to send Black Ark Corsairs with Hambos up against a wall. Um, you do have a lot of Garys though, so that's nice. Although as as we've seen, Garys do tend to get a little bit cranky. And as such, we'll probably just end up beating themselves. Uh, and uh, she's got a War Hydra and also a Reaper Bolt Thrower. And that guy. Good. A level 7 general. Not 100% not sure how that's going to go for it. I'm hoping maybe she just sacks it and doesn't take it. And then I can take it. Because I quite like it because it's got a gold mine. And uh, not that I really don't... I, I mean, money-wise, we're doing incredibly well. So much money. Don't know what to do with it. Um, can we upgrade anything? No, not really. Of yeah, I mean, we, we, we could. I, I'm going to try and build up these armies down here. We've also got these black arcs that I need to upgrade. Uh, there's Dave, bloody Dave, what a legend. Let's get the Raider. Is it Raider Lodges? Raider Lodges there. I should probably actually recruit. I mean, I'm not going to recruit units for Dave, obviously, because he just gets um, his little crew, which we can't recruit at the moment. We could recruit a Sorceress. Fleet footed, perceptive. I mean, this, this this would be Crichton, wouldn't it? And I think, like... I mean, Crichton is always very knowledgeable, isn't he? He's also disciplined. He's not malevolent. Um, I'm going to go with knowledgeable. My skills are yours. Good to know. Uh, you... Is that how you spell Crichton? I'll check later. Blood of the Bellhearts. And you can have chill winds, and that'll be fine. Right, okay, we'll pop you in... In Dave's power. army. And once we get the ability to recruit... Oh, do we get them here? No, Sorceress. As soon as we get the ability to recruit more death... Ha in fact, we recruited some down here, didn't we? And I put them in the army, so that's probably why I can't recruit them. Ha! Sorceress of the Dark Convent. We'll get more. We've got lots of money. We just need more settlements to upgrade. And we're fine. We're upgrading one there. Um, are we upgrading them here? Yeah, we're upgrading... Yeah, so, I mean, eventually, we'll be able to get more of them. And then we can, you know, fill out Dave's... I say fill out. I mean, obviously, give Dave his, his little compliment of crew. You have my attention. The question is, what will you do with it? What will you do with it? You want a military alliance? Um. Yeah, all right. I can I can get in on on that. 
I mean, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. What I do like about these little cuts is the fact that I get to drink hot coffee during the interludes, which is nice. I don't usually get to do that. You know, I'd, I'd almost forgotten what hot coffee sound it tasted like, sounded like, tasted like. It's nice. Because uh, that's what I do on a, I'm sat here on a Saturday morning, got up in my dressing gown. It's very Arthur Dent chic. And I get myself a coffee. And obviously recording an episode usually takes around about half an hour. And I just forget my coffee's there. So I end up drinking cold coffee. Anyway, we've got the Festivals of Cain. That's a little aside. Uh, praise him. For he yeah, blah, blah, blah. Right. Ward save. Okay, that's good. Like ward save. Apparently we've succeeded in doing that for some reason. Good. Tech wise... We could purge the weak, why not? You know what, we do actually... I think that might, not, might actually be a good good shout, because... I mean, okay, that's 30. Did we really not generate... I, I thought Lothurn generated more income than... Oh wait, no, because that's 300, isn't it? So that's 300, this produces... Um, so that would be 9. However, the awake, uh, the sexual awakening actually increases it by... Right, so... It's not going to be a huge, massive boost of income, but it is going to be some income, which is not necessarily the worst, so I think we'll probably do that. Have the... Oh, come on, guys, you haven't fixed up this settlement after I sacked it. That's just... That's just rude. That's rude. Okay, we're going to go to Port Elister instead, then. And sack that. And... Yep. More Hail Slaves. Lock here is a butcher. I mean, he's definitely not a friendly chap, is he? Do not order me. Well, I, I kind of have to, mate. It's li literally what the game's about. So, we've got our Sorceress, Crichton. Let's pop Crichton. In with Dave. There we go. Now we can, you know, do Dave's socks and stuff. That's good. Uh, we sacked that last time. Do we want to capture it? Dark sorceress. Yes. Yes. SpongeBob. Yeah, you're going to go for it. I want them dead. The weak well, shall fall. Yeah. Boop. And... We will reclaim our treasures. No, you won't. Blows through me. Does he? Well, that's good to know. Thank, thanks for the update. Right, so we're, we're, capped, we're kind of cleaning up along that left west side of Ulthwant. We're doing that. And I think what we're going to do is head for the Shrine of Asurian. I think that's what we're going to do. So, Lockyer is going to get... I do... As much as I love the Black Art Corsairs early game, in the late game, they do kind of suffer a bit. And I'm wondering if maybe we switch them out for, like, Sisters of Slaughter or something. Which are just inherently just a better unit. I mean, they're not a bad unit. They're pretty tanky. They don't have any shields, but they're neither the Sisters of Slaughter, so what am I worrying about? Ah, it's probably fine. Okay, but we do have... Um, we do have Witch Elves. We Is this for... Uh, yeah, Witch Elves. Um, uh, so, yeah, we, we do have the Great Sword Infantry. I... Weapon strength and armor for Black Guard, Hargameth Executioners. I'm wondering if I switch the Sisters of Singing Doom out for another unit. Maybe like another unit of um, Hargameth Executioners. Mind you, I do like the fact they're quick. They've got 51 speed, which is is pretty. Yeah, you know, that's pretty respectable. That is ve that's very flanky. So I might actually keep them. But I don't really want to waste... I mean, that would make them even faster. And give them... Oh, fuck it, I'll go with that. I mean, yeah, it's only buffing one unit, but screw it. I like watching numbers increase. When numbers increase, so do I. Uh, let's... Claudia. I would like more magic items, but let's get Occam's Mind Razor. Let's do that. Okay, so you are going to head off to the Shrine of Assyrian. We're going to capture that rather than sack it. Because we do have the Sacred Flame of Asurian there. Which has a lot of good benefits. And I believe when we hold it, it also increases the... 
relations with high elf factions. Now, generally, you get it too late to actually... I mean, if you've managed to capture the Shrine of Asurian as a Dark Elf, you've probably had to kill a shit ton of high elves, by which point they're probably not very happy with you. So, getting however much... I think it's 100 additional relation with that faction probably isn't really going to help help very much. Um, but still, it's, it's nice to have, isn't it? I guess if you captured it early, maybe that would work, but... Mm. Patrick... Oh, I can't wait to give you a Cauldron of Blood. I love the Cauldron of Blood. It's only one skill point away. Oh. So let's give you... Let's give you Ward of Cat. Because when you're on a Cauldron of Blood, you're quite tall. And so you tend to get shot at. So we'll do that. There's Noxus. Noxus has been running around, scouting for us, keeping an eye out, just in case. Because obviously we don't want to get jumped by, by Tyrion and Alariel. Ideally. Fellow Druki, will you join my crew? Do you believe you have a choice? It is Malekith, Lockyer. I'm just, um, yeah, that, sure, I'll have that. Wow, have these guys taken some territory? Holy shit, they've taken two bits of territory. A wandering army's taken two bits of territory. You almost never see them do that. Okay, you've captured Torren Rock. Okay, fingers crossed that they can retake it. Because then I can take it off them. Now, the only problem is getting Caron Car might be tricky if we can't confederate into it. And also, if Tretch is a military ally of Malekith, because that I means, you know, obviously going to war with Malekith to get that territory, which I'm not 100% against doing, but it's probably going to come quite late. But I do want the Red Blades. And also, we need to kill Luther in Lustria. And he's expanding. I'm. I think he's expanding because it's as busy with the Sentinels of Zeti. I think that's why. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to fight back. Right. Right. Okay. So we've got this place. They're not going to be happy, but they do have marble, and I would like to sell marble. But first... Uh, Alright, screw it. We'll get marble. They're not going to be happy no matter what, so may as well just uh, just roll with it, really. Is that some bits and pieces out at sea? No, that's just a... It's just a little, little elf thing. Wingy thing. They've got a wingy thing. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Why can't I go over there? Do I have... Oh, screw it. All right, we'll capture this. Right, we'll capture this first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Also, capture. Right, so this is going to be another province... Oh, yeah, this is going to be pretty wrecked, isn't it? Yeah. Absolute carnage. Okay, so we've taken that. That's good. I can't see any armies this side of Ulthwan, so I guess we'll head back over here and just make sure Alariel is still sat in... Yes, there she is. Okay, it looks like Malekith has landed on the north coast, and uh, a lot of black art corsairs hanging around. You've got the sword of Cain. You do have the sword of Cain. It's thirsting. Mm -mm -mm. At some point, I wonder I if we can confederate with Marathi. I think we probably can now. The fact they've got Torn Rock is a bit of a problem because I wanted Torn Rock, but because uh, public order here is going to be awful, it's going to be absolutely bloody atrocious. Bit of a problem that. Okay, Dave. Thanks. That's that's super. Okay, come over here. I know you're going to get it's a little bit seasickness, but you'll be fine. Yeah, also vomit. Okay, let's get the dragon tower, because that's dragons, and dragons are great. Can't go wrong with dragons. And I'm tempted to get the altar of Cain. The only thing is, it doesn't actually... I mean, that increases research rate, which would be good. Okay, sure, let's get that. Let's get that. Everyone's happy there. Um, well, 
I would like you to get some slightly better units. So I reckon we can get rid of them. Now this might upset her a little bit. Mother of the dark convent. Nope, she's fine. Right, we're going to get you some Sister Slaughter because they're a bit better. Yes, we're also going to give you some Witch Elves because why the hell not. And once we've done that, we can send you... I'm tempted to give you some Harpies. Because if we're going to be fighting Luther. We're going to be fighting lots of missile units. So actually, I might get rid of some of these witch elves. Because then we can get the harpies to flank around, jump all their missile units. Jobs are good. Black arms. Oh, that, that idea is a good one. Uh, right. Okay, so how's Luther doing? Luther's doing quite well. Also, he quite likes us for some reason. Despite the fact that obviously, you know, we... Oh, he, he likes the fact we're killing High Elves. Right. No, that makes sense. A lot of people don't like High Elves. Oh, we can finally upgrade the Oxo Cubes. So let's do that. Sexual Awakening still isn't ready to be upgraded. What's this? Growth. Yeah, we wanted to keep growth here, didn't we? But growth... Oh, no, we've got public order here. Which is what's keeping public order stable, apparently. Why are you so cranky? Corruption still. It is dropping. It will start to drop even more once we've got the Shrine of Cain, so I think I'm okay with that. Oh, we've encountered Tretch. Amuse the Kraken Lord of Karen Car, or suffer my displeasure. Yep. You want a defensive alliance? Oh, do I want to do that? Give me a trade agreement military access as well. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I can always betray him. And then complain about my reliability being chronically low. Uh, Herxotl and Itza have confederated. And apparently we've had our quest aborted. I guess because we're in a defensive alliance with... I mean... Okay, does that mean we can never get that? That's a bit annoying. Ugh. Okay, didn't realise that would happen. Could be the mods breaking everything. Um, I think it's a fact of mods and beta patch, maybe? Don't know. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You've got quite the... Um, hmm. We might need some siege towers for that, I think. It could come in useful, so let's do that. We can upgrade um, Angaril. Supreme Sorceress of Grant. And if we head back here, how bad's the public order? Pretty bad. We'll be fine 14 turns. Death Knight is upon us. Ah, we can get a black dragon. SpongeBob has got a black dragon. Look at that. Chosen of Hecate. Yes, there we are. That's what we're talking about, black dragons. Mm-hmm. It's -hmm. all pretty good. Let's get a spire of sorcery, because that's going to increase our... Oh, it's a, bit, it's a bit stormy over here. Can we shift over to this nice non-stormy patch of... It's better, isn't it? Not quite sure how that works, but if you go over the magic line in the sea, it's not stormy anymore. Okay, we can't recruit any more units there. Are you fairly happy? Seven loyalty? That's not too bad. You've got ten loyalty. You are... See? Lots of people were naysaying. Oh, he's going to rebel. No, he's fine. Look at that. Bloody Murdradessa. Just because she picked the, the worst goth name ever. Or the best goth name, depending on your point of view. It doesn't necessarily mean she's going to rebel and murder everyone. Noxus. You haven't really... I mean, we, we should really get you doing something, shouldn't we? Maybe you can assault units. Come over here, and... 29% chance, 32. Okay, you failed, but I feel like you, you just work... You're just building up. I feel like you're just building up to the point where you're going to be absolutely amazing. You're going to be... Oh, it's going to be like Neo in the Matrix. You're going to be dodging bullets. I mean, you're definitely going to have to learn how to dodge arrows if you're assaulting Alariel's army. A lot of, I mean, a lot of arrows. You have my 
attention. The question is, what will you do with it? You want a military alliance, and you're going to give me my... Oh, uh, well, seeing as we don't have the Quest of the Red Blades anymore. I don't know if we get it, if we then... Cancel our military alliance with him. Whether it will then go, oh, now you can get it again. Or whether we've just lost it for good. I suspect we've lost it lost it for good, but I, I could be wrong. Ah, oh, so the Exiles and the Heck have finally decided who invited them. Lothurn, okay, sure. Oh, what I mean to check is... Um, these guys. Large Occupy Settlements. Under Docks. What have they got as a defence? This is always brilliant. They've got Nasty Skulkers, Night Goblin Fanatics, Death Runners, Gutter Runners. Uh, Night Goblin... Yeah, so these guys are Skaven and Goblins, I think. And what I love is the fact that um, the garrisons are always so weird. Are you at war with Mal... Me to listen, so talk. No, you're kind of just fine with Malakith. Malakith apparently doesn't just... Does, 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 does not care. He's like... I've got a bunch of goblins and skaven living in my se southern settlements. I guess that's all right. I guess we'll just live with that. How weird. Yeah, so he's got Karen Carr. So I don't know if if we break off our military alliance, whether we will get the sword quest back. I might actually test that between episodes. My guess is no. Torture and debauchery await within. Yes, exactly. Oh, right, yeah. Marathi's going to be spreading her corruption, isn't she? Oh. Want something, so speak. I want to confederate with you, Marathi, and don't take that the wrong way, please. For the love of God. The Kraken Lord fights. Okay, we need one more turn for sieging the shrine. And I... Let's go and grab the Tower of Lycian. Let's go do that. So we'll... we'll capture the entire um, the entirety of this province so we need Tower of Lycian and the Shrine of Assyrian right so we need those four settlements well we've got those four that we that'd be a nice sort of beachhead to have and then we can start heading north I think with Marathi heading up this side maybe we should head up the uh, the eastern side and there's Malekith Malekith apparently is uh, he's still sat in the Shrine of, of Cain just playing with his sword apparently that's all he's doing he doesn't seem to want to do... He, he defended it from, from Alice, fair enough. But since then, he's just done nothing but just sat there. Polishing his sword. Oh, dear. Let's get watchtowers here, because I don't trust Hexotl. I think Hexotl are probably going to declare war on us sooner rather than later. Red blades. Yeah, you're not going to get your red blades at this rate. Um, let's get the Grand Black Arc because that's more growth and all that kind of good stuff. You've got your army. Now, we could potentially declare war on Luther, but Luther actually quite likes us. But we do need to kill him to win the campaign. So the short victory... Can yeah, so we all of Lawmasters and Clan Pestance, done. The Vampire Coast, still fighting. We also need to control uh, 12 provinces. We currently have nine. Uh, and we need to control eight of these. We currently have three, thanks to our military alliances. And we need... Two of these. So the Black Tower of Malekith, the Sanctum of Quintex, Shrine of the Widowmaker, Vandalized Court of the Ever Queen, Slave Traders' Palaces, or Fiery Pits of Sacrifice. So basically, we're going to have to fight Malekith at some point, or confederate with him. We also need 20 units of Black Art Corsairs, or Black Art Corsairs, with handbows. Sure. I wonder if maybe getting the handbows would be better. I wonder if switching these over because uh, oh we can't recruit this because if we just have a quick look at the just pin that in place there we go right so yeah so these guys have got four less charge four less melee attack and melee defense but they do have missile units and that's the only difference really Oh, and they're not anti-infantry. So there is that as well, because these guys have seven bonus to infantry. So that means when they're fighting infantry, they get seven additional weapon strength and melee attack. Which is quite nice. 
Ready the crew. But no hambos. Well, we probably I should probably get Yeah, you you are gonna get You're just recruiting some black art corsairs, buddy. Let's not not get too excited. Noxis, I feel like this is your turn. Come on, buddy. You got this. Alright, good attempt though. Nice work. Like the, the hustle. That was good. Every skull that decorates this deck adds to my legend. Why should I not take yours? Why indeed. You want military access. I'm gonna say no. One, because you don't actually need it. And two, because I don't like you, I need to kill you. There's those exiles. Um, have they got the... Oh, well, yeah, they're not actually doing too badly. Weirdly. Are they going to come and attack me now? I get the feeling that they might decide to just march all the way over here just to fight me. That could well be a thing. Aim for the head. New targeting techniques have been introduced to your army's training regimes, teaching the troops to focus on enemy weak points. Damaging from missile weapons has increased faction-wide as a result. Holy crap, that's quite nice. Plus 25% missile damage. I'll take that. I'll also take this. Boop. I... Oh, well, I mean... No, we're going to occupy. Ooh, Book of Asher. That's quite a nice nice one to have. Right, so let's upgrade this. We don't need that. And frankly, that's a bit shite as well, so we'll get rid of that. Claudia, you don't have an arcane icon. You can have the Book of Asher. Um, yeah, you can keep that. I don't think we've got anything else we can give you. I could give you armor of darkness, but I feel like maybe that's better suited to Hoha, the the most fun death hag in Warhammer. Let's give her some armor because she's a death hag and therefore probably needs it. Let's give her some fire resistance as well because obviously she's not wearing very much. And for the toe talk, why not? Why the dickens not? Right, Raquel, I think we're going to give you a couple of those because they're always useful. And... Some of them. What do you seek? Now, I talked about maybe getting rid of these guys, and I... Let's... Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of these. Let's do something like that. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to do that because I feel like if we're fighting the Vampire Coast, which we're going to be doing, then what's important is I'm units sorry. to lock down their missile units. Because if we can engage their front line, then lock down all those handgunners, that's really where the Vampire Coast gets its strength is their handgunners. So we can lock those down. That's going to cause a lot of trouble. Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. The Kraken strikes. We're going to hit the Shrine of Assyrian, but unfortunately we've run out of time for this episode, so I'm going to have to leave it there. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of A Lock Here, Fell Hearts.